In this segment, Pete Ardima and Kevin Braun are going to talk about one of their overhead cam conversion engines that never quite came to fruition as planned. This one-of-a-kind overhead cam converted 427 cubic inch wedge head Ford FE Stroker engine may be the only running homemade example in existence. You will hear firsthand how Pete and Kevin ran into some design issues with this engine build and why they moved on to bigger horsepower producing engine designs. We hope you enjoy the segment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. All right, so now we're here with both Kevin and Pete, and uh, they have another unique engine creation here that they're going to speak about. So what do we have here, Pete? Kevin. Okay, well, a friend of mine worked for Shelby, Shelby Ford, mm -hmm. and he was machining Fords, and he had a, a couple rejects, so I bought three of them from him. Uh, <laughs> the blocks, just a bare block. And uh, unfortunately, two of them burned up in the fire. But we kept this, this one was saved from the fire. It was in the car, the one car. Yeah, I, I saved it. But it's a FE block, aluminum Shelby block, Edelbrock heads, I and then that. we made the boxes, or Kevin made the boxes, the cam boxes. Uh, it's a bucket design engine mm -hmm. where the buckets sit right on top of the spring, cam rides on top of that. The belt drive is like all of the ones we've done. It's fairly, uh, after doing as many as we've done, this wasn't too bad. So is this all, the only Ford that you've done? I, I no, did a bunch of small block Fords. Oh, okay. 302 Ford. We did a lot of them. Yeah. I think we did eight. Um, but this is the only big block Ford. The problem with big displacement, because we put a half inch crank in this, this is 468 cubic mm -hmm. inch, is that you need more cam than the bucket can give you. Okay. The, the cam coming over the bucket is limits you to how much lift you can get. Okay. And when you've got almost 500 inches, you need more cam than a bucket can give you because the diameter of the bucket is is limited, about inch and a half. Inch and can and you inch. overcome that with a, a standard push well, rod? Well, they, they do the modern motors with the rockers. They have those finger followers now they call them. Okay. That they can get ratio to it. Yeah. But it's you need to have the exact perfect cam design, and most of our cam design or grinders aren't too good at making a high lift cam like that. You know? Okay. And if, if you can imagine a rocker arm sitting here and the cam coming around, mm -hmm. on this side the cam hits the low side of the rocker. And on this side the cam comes around and it hits the high side of the rocker. So yeah. this is a variable ratio they call it. Oh I got it. That ratio is different than this, this side ratio. ratio. So you got two cylinders fire on this side at a particular ratio, then you got a sonar fires over here at a different ratio. Okay. So you have to make two masters to do this right. Mm -hmm. And masters about two grand yeah, a piece. Or we were actually we were going to do a motor where we tried turning one cam one direction and the other the other direction to get it. The so low profile. Yeah, the same. To get so, the but it's, so the cam acts on both rockers the same way. Okay. But like I say, if you got a rocker here and the cam comes this way. And, or if it's over here, and that's and it comes, be, because of how yeah. the head is made. You have the, you want the pivot over here in the, the valve on this side, and that one you want, you know, the pivots, on the opposite side of the way it's rotating. Okay. When you take this head off and you put it over here, you turn it 180. Yeah. So yeah, this cam's are, turning backwards. Sure. From this one, not in direction, but in the approach to geometry. The rocker. Yeah. So with your design, are you able to keep that? Well, with buckets, it doesn't bucket matter. Doesn't bucket matter. doesn't matter. So the lid, it's going to be equal on both sides then. Yeah. A bucket is a flat surface where yeah. the cam comes this way or the other way. It doesn't really okay. matter. And there's so many grinds for a bucket engine. You but know, you're that, saying that the downfall is with the bucket design, you can't get the same amount of lift. When you're talking you about... to make high horsepower, you can't get the high, high lift that, you know, you want for a big displacement motor. Okay. And this is a two valve? Yes. Two valves. Two Stock valve. heads. Stock Edelbrock heads. Okay. This and then how does the box, how is it affixed to the We use the rocker arm studs. Okay, so rocker arm studs and it just seals against the valve cover sealing surface. Right. Type That's thing. machine. They're okay. Kind of they're machine. They're just stock Edelbrock heads. Oh, that's pretty heads. cool. Stock Edelbrock, I don't know what the intake is. Yeah, it's Edelbrock intake. It's fairly, it's an FE Ford, except for the box, the cam boxes. Okay. And what was this originally designed for? Was there a Well, they put them in Cobras and Mustangs. I mean, what did you do? Why did you guys do I just did it to do it. Oh, we had people ask, asking about it. So, so it was another challenge. It. Can you do a Ford? Yeah. Well, when I when I went to Shelby and he said, hey, I got these three blocks. I'll make you a hell of a deal. I said, yeah. 
So right. I'm not going to put a put two valve push rod together. But yeah, it has to definitely be a unique Ardema right. run design. It can't be uh, can't that be anything be normal. The fire and we were. We so you done anything then. So did you say you built three of them or you had three blocks? No, we bought three blocks. Three blocks. So this is two a, of them. We're still in the boxes. So this is the only <laughs> survivor. So again, yeah. this is the only one in the world to exist. Well, of this of this design. Yeah, I told right? you about the the rock arm one. Yeah. Um, I gave that to the museum. We just never got it running right. Well, like I say, the big problem was the the cam cam grinders are. You know, like when we did the big V12, we we had to build our own cam master. Okay. Because we couldn't get what we wanted. To There's not too many people that make a single overhead cam rocker. Mercedes is one. Mm -hmm. um, very few. Yeah. Well, I mean, they they are. I mean, there's Ferraris or stuff, but they're not the kind of lift you need for big displacement. That's cool. So, we just we don't design it we don't draw or anything out we just start building and you, you yeah. know how they used to make cams is different you know they used to if they wanted more duration and stuff or lift they used to actually when they were just running on lifters they actually used to split loaves and then rotate them over and then fill in with weld or braze and stuff yeah just to get more duration and more lift you can't do that with a rocker arm it's okay. it's way more complicated very technical so when you're saying you just kind of start building is that and then so you start with just a concept like a, a napkin sketch well, what, or what, what i mean we want to put it on and, and you know <laughs> well I mean, cool. it, it's, it's like say the v12 was we wanted to build a v12 well we had these heads we okay put them together and then you kind of design around the parts you have have any of these ever you just scrap the whole project like you're starting to do it and it just doesn't work that or we happen we kind of scrapped this one okay because so, this was originally a rocker arm engine okay and we spent a lot of time and a lot of effort and it was had, in that chassis for years but it just didn't come it, it didn't never, it didn't meet your criteria it for both never years. ran right i sent the cams to comp cam and water mm -hmm. they knew they said we know what we're doing but they didn't because they came back it ran just as bad so and, i gave the rocker arm boxes to the museum in lincoln okay Nebraska. first just for i made up a dummy block and put these all right. And it's back there in Lincoln on display with the rock arms. And do you think the reason why it never ran right is just because of you're using this existing cylinder head design and it's a two no, it's valve? A, it was a cam design. It's a cam, cam design. Cam design is wrong. Like I said, one cam operates okay. the valve different than the other cam. And I was too thr tight or thrifty, whatever you want to say, yeah. to have masters made. So you have masters made, you spend four or five thousand bucks, and then it doesn't run any better, you're really upset. Yeah. I spent a lot of money with comp camp figuring they knew what they were doing we went through someone else that ls lsm yeah too. lsm because you know what's going to we happen if you too. put this video on youtube and people hear you saying it never ran someone's going to come up and say well i'll make it run right i'll do your cams for you you know that's going to happen Andrews probably could do it right he has yeah. a real good Aero, design Aero out of england yeah. yeah do it yeah but they're going to charge a small fortune yeah, well, they, yeah. We were especially gonna do, when it's one cam right we were going to do the beat they were going to do the ones for the Big 12, but they wanted like $14,000 to do them. Yeah. To do the masters. <laughs> and then you don't know it's going to work. Yeah. And then you got to do it again, right? If it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. And then if you want to change yeah. so duration rather, or something. <laughs> so rather than fight that problem, I said, well, we'll make a bucket engine. It, yeah. It's not going to be a race engine, but yeah. this goes in a 32 Ford. It's got way more horsepower than they'll ever use. So that's what it is. All right. So now the next magic question is can we hear it run? Sure.
that's it, folks, for the day. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you can stay tuned. We're going to hopefully get some more videos uploaded here pretty soon of Pete and Kevin. Thanks again.